Welcome to this Excel tutorial. We'll explore three methods to convert date and time format to date. We'll start by using a formula-based approach, followed by the format cells feature, and finally, we'll utilize a VBA macro. Let's dive into each method. Let's begin with the first method, where we'll use a formula based on the month, day, and year functions to extract the date from the date and time format. This formula allows us to dynamically convert the format of our date and time data. In a new column, enter the formula. Equals month, A2, and, in day, A2, and, in year, A2. Replace, A2, with the cell reference containing the date and time data. Press Enter to apply the formula. Drag the fill handle down to fill B3. You can see that cell B3 is changed to date format properly. Now, let's explore the second method, which involves using the Format Cells feature to directly change the format of our date and time data. This method offers a simple and straightforward way to adjust the display format. Highlight the range of cells containing the date and time data. Right-click on the selected cells and choose Format Cells. In the Format Cells dialog, go to the Number tab. Select Date from the category list. Choose the desired date format. Click OK to apply the changes. You can see that the date and time data is displayed in the chosen date format. Lastly, let's explore the third method, where we'll use a VBA macro to automate the conversion process. This method provides flexibility and customization options for handling date and time data. Press Alt plus F11 to open the Visual Basic for Applications editor. In the VBA editor, go to the Insert menu and select Module to insert a new module. Copy the provided VBA code above. Paste the copied code into the new module. Close the VBA editor and return to your Excel workbook. Press Alt plus F8 to open the Macro dialog. Select the Convert Date Time to Date macro from the list. Click Run to execute the macro. Follow any prompts to select the range containing date and time data. Once the macro finishes running, you'll receive a message indicating that the date and time format has been successfully converted to date format. If you found this tutorial helpful in learning how to convert date and time format to date in Excel using multiple methods, don't forget to subscribe for more Excel tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.